Hello everyone, it is Friday, June 26th, and I am here bringing you your weekly market update for the past seven days in King County. We are looking at King County single family homes and condos. So without further ado, let's get into what the numbers say. So this week we had 840 new listings. That's down 13 listings from last week when we saw 853 new listings come onto the market. This week we saw 1,207 homes go pending, and that is down a little bit from 1,246 homes going pending last week. So pendings and actives are down a little bit each week over week. Last but not least, we saw 643 homes sell in the past seven days. That's down a little bit from last week when we saw 714 homes sell. So across the board, all of these numbers are down a little bit. Um, it's not a drastic amount, but we do see the market le leveling off. Um, we see not as much inventory coming on, so there are very few things for buyers to look at. It seems like a lot of the homes are coming onto the market towards the end of the week so that everyone can go out and look at them over the weekend. Um, whereas in a normal market, it feels more like stuff comes on during the week. Um, so that may be um, sellers rushing to get their home onto the market at a certain time. Um, or it may just be more of a strategy that they're employing to get people to come during the weekend and see the house. Um, we are still seeing homes getting listed and we're still seeing buyers out there. The number of pendings is still exceeding the number of homes coming onto the market. So that does mean there is still strong demand in the market. Now with interest rates remaining low, this is helping buyers afford more, and so this is encouraging buying at this time. In addition to other things we've talked about here, which are you know buyers understanding that their apartment or the place they're currently living might not offer them everything they want if they are staying home more often or working from home. So that is driving a lot of purchases in our marketplace. Now with unemployment, uh, you know, I was reading this week that the unemployment numbers that were reported may be a little bit off because they're not accounting for um, all of those people who took unemployment but are planning to go back to work. Um, and so those may be a little bit off. So there may be a different way that we need to look at unemployment for how it might impact our economy. So that said, um, we can't make any drastic predictions at this time. You know, I think one thing I'm still watching is if coronavirus will continue to come back. That's a major concern, I think, across the United States. And if that happens, how that will impact our real estate market. So it's really important to watch um, and make sure we're all aware of that. So if you have any questions about what's going on in the market or you want to know more about what's happening in your neighborhood, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to help and I'd love to speak with you. And don't hesitate to share this video with a friend if you know someone who might find it helpful. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again next week.